Healthio just presents you this video on healthy A1C goal. Fit non-diabetic persons glycated hemoglobin percentages within 4.2 to 4.6 percent. These numbers are only from a person who is fit, non-obese, active, and on healthy diet. The A1C result in diabetic depends upon how well you are maintaining your blood glucose level. If you are maintaining your blood sugar at an optimal range 70 to 85 mg per deciliter or 3.9 to 4.7 millimoles per liter at most of the time, then your A1C will be near normal range around 4.2 to 4.6 percent. Dr. Richard K. Bernstein, author of Diabetes Solution, who starts his career as an engineer, he became a physician due to his ambition to share his newfound diabetes knowledge with other. He developed type 1 diabetes in 1946 at the age of 12. He said, my A1C reading was once 3.9, over the years the highest was 4.4 but usually the results are 4.1 or 4.2 percent. At his age of about 80, he has been able to manage the optimal A1C range with type 1 diabetes, why it is impossible for you. However, if you are new to diabetes and diabetes control, then in the beginning, it is difficult to achieve it. Even, Dr. Richard K. Bernstein faced difficulties to reach his today's number. He put stringent effort by testing, analyzing, modifying, again testing and after years of struggle, he made it. You can also achieve it, if you are ready to put consistent effort until the target met. Achieving your A1C target is not impossibility, just strike out in it becomes possible. Nothing is impossible if you strongly decides to do. However, do not fix any target that is difficult to achieve. It may make you disappoint and lose heart to achieve it again. Instead, aim for an easy target, once you achieved it. You will gain knowledge as well as confidence to go for the next level. Go step by step to achieve your A1C. As in shooting, try to achieve a broader target. Once you gain proper aiming slowly shrink your focus to a much specific optimal target. American Diabetes Association ADA suggests people with diabetes to aim for A1C levels of 7% or less. Thus for anyone with diabetes, a starting A1C goal of 7.0 to 6.5% is a good choice, and your chance of diabetes complications is low. If you are experiencing frequent hypoglycemia, stay in this range for months until your body got practicing to this BS level. At the same time, learn what induce hypoglycemia and strive to stop it. Once you have gained expertise to stop frequent hypoglycemia, proceed to pre-diabetic range of 5.7 to 6.4 percent. Medication alone cannot make any magic. You have to take nutritious diet by cutting down your carb intake and increase in physical activity plus regular exercise. Once you have adapted to your lifestyle changes without frequently hypoglycemia, you can aim for an A1C range of 5.2 to 5.6 percent. Illness can raise your blood sugar level. You should prevent illness and manage it promptly. Lack of sleep will affect your blood glucose as well as your dieting habit. Never compromise restful sleep. At this stage, you have gained mastery in glucose management. You can now try achieving sub-optimal A1C range of 4.7 to 5.1 percent. To reach this target, you may need further to cut down on carbohydrate and increase in physical activity. At this range, your chances for the diabetes complications are almost zero, keep it up. Learn to manage stress and avoid fight-flight situations, these fluctuate your blood glucose level. The final best optimal A1C range is 4.2 to 4.6 percent. This is the range of the healthy non-diabetic range, thumbs up. You are a master of diabetes management, share your expertise in diabetes forum and help others. Achieving your target, A1C even just 7.0 to 6.5 percent is not an easy job. It requires patience, interest to learn, ability to analyze willpower to accept failures, and stick with lifestyle changes. If you have trouble at any target range, simply stay at that range for some months until your body practicing to the BS. Once your BS stabilizes, you feel comfortable and gain confidence then you can try reaching next target range. 
Every individual is different, your mileage may vary YMMV, so a healthy A1C is possible for your friend but will be difficult for you or vice versa. You need to find the right A1C target at that time that best suits your body. Does a lot of testing and finds what works best for you? If you are having any health concerns such as gastroparesis delayed gastric emptying, then it will be very difficult to reach the target A1C range. A cord study shows intensive glycemia treatment is dangerous, is it true? No, because the action to control cardiovascular risk in diabetes accord study has targeted an A1C of less than 6.0% with too much of medication, combination of medication and or insulin. Additionally, the Accord study advised their patients to take low-fat means high-carb diet for their blood glucose control. Too much of the carb, treated with an increased blood insulin level hyperinsulinemia by insulin secretagogues drug or insulin, which is a risk towards hypertension, coronary artery disease, and cardiovascular disease. Instead, if Accord study suggested an intensive glycemia treatment with a low-carb diet and increased physical activity, then the study will be completed with overwhelming success and overall improvement in health as well as increased lifespan. How frequently, you have to test your A1C. Once diagnosis diabetes, it is good to have at least 4 A1C tests per annum that is once in every 3 months. If you are more health concerns, it is up to you to have A1C test even monthly until reached your target by modifying treatment regimen. Do not forget your A1C decides your risk for diabetes complications. Once you have reached your target A1C, and it has stabilized at that range then you can reduce taking A1C test to 2 to 4 times yearly. If your A1C is in a higher side, do not be panic, you can lower it with some consistent effort. Subscribe to our video channel for interesting videos and visit healthyogis.com for useful information on diabetes, cholesterol, high and low blood pressure, eye and sleep problems.